I'm not looking at the percents here as much as I'm looking at just what I know about these players. Chris Ford has been doing very well with Diddy Kong so far, especially with those up air kills. Player, player 4 is a little bit shaky on that spacing. Ice Arrow is waiting for that opportunity. It's alright. No risk for him to do those up airs. That's uh, game one to Big McLarge Huge. I'm never going to get used to saying that. Big McLarge Huge. Xavier, we got 1-0 for Big McLarge Huge. Yep. I don't know the name of this other team. All right, we're right back to Smashville, and let's let's see if Mario can keep that uh, kind of cushion lead. And it turned out that that last match of the stock really uh, helped, actually, because this board was willing to do the uh, final showdown with Player Four. I turned around. Chris Ford, uh, I thought he was getting thrown in the air, but it looks like still, he's the one who seems to have the most experience with Diddy Kong. Ice Arrow is a good player, but um, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's, uh, I don't think he's been playing Diddy Kong. Blue team's taking this, these hits a lot quicker than last time. I think blue team was just laughing at Ice Arrow. And, uh, doesn't look like blue team is in a position to be doing so right now. So, right now the only possibility of a chair stock is for Ice Arrows, last one, and um, it's not too likely since his teammate's at 0% right now that he's going to come to that. Right now we have one nothing um, in favor of Ray Ray's team. The blue team, yeah. Well, they laughed, but looks like Ice Arrow. They don't give a shit. These are the words from the man himself. Ray Ray is all about survival, but can he do a two on one? At 123% no less. Nope. And now it's one and one. Now things are really heating up. Oh, they're gonna go to final destination. They're moving right on, they're not trying to waste any time with the set.
Mario 20 is forced to be a lot more proactive this time with no platform to keep your throwing fireballs from. But it looks like that's working out for him so far. Air Force quickly just all the way up in the high percents. Chris Ford doesn't want to lose that first stop. He doesn't want to be the first one to go. And player four is down to the second stop. And Chris is still holding on. He knows how to use that DI. Oh, Sarah just looked like he didn't really know what happened just there. So it looks like Ray Ray doesn't really need uh, to play the defensive to still be the most longevity here. It's a nice trip he uses with that cape to kind of delay his recovery a little bit. I haven't seen many Mario players do something like that. Nope. And he gets thrown just like that. Oh, he's not recovering so well that time. Well, that's his first stock, so he's alright. I'm seeing a lot of these uh, forward bees being thrown out by Diddy Kong and getting punished. Yeah, if it's not being a punish from the player that they're aiming for, it's a punish from their teammate. Ice arrows spikes Mario into the stage. There's a lot of that in this game. I know that uh, Ganondorf in particular has a trend that looks like that. Who's that player for is out and no chair stock. Well, I guess blue team pulled it together after all. A little bit of team variety can go a long way. Xavier, this set is uh, out of three, right? Yeah, so... Guys, guys, you just won the set. You guys just won the set. It's best of three right now. Best of five? All right. Oh, so the set's not over yet. We're getting confused over here. Right now, it's 2-1 uh, in favor of blue team. So that means this is uh, Loser's Finals. I didn't think we were here so quickly. So it's been a while since we've seen uh, Battlefield. Not sure if there was any particular reason for that pick, but uh, it's nice to see the change. All the Diddy Kongs want that down throw up air combo, and they're getting them. Ice Arrow doesn't want Ray Ray to make it. Ray Ray doesn't want Ice Arrow to make it. And everyone just pretends it never happened. Goes back to normal. Uh, 
Chris Ward takes the first death there. Ray Ray loses that first stop too, so now we have a uh, red team in the clear lead. And nice player four is not afraid, not afraid of that percent. Let's see if Ice Arrow can survive to 143% too. Pretty much, pretty much. These two are just holding on to those first stops. Alright, finally, Red Team. Who's one of them, Ice Arrow. Ice Arrow is tanking right now. Oh yeah, we're talking about the Rage Factor here. Uh, Ice Arrow has been potentially really early kill moves. Right now, uh, Diddy Kong's doing 88% has to watch out. 96. Of course, it goes both ways, but in the heat of the moment, anything can happen. Uh, who was that? Too many Diddy Kongs. Well, it doesn't really matter. Right now, it's just Chris Ford against the world. I think it's safe to say that uh, Red Team is about to take game number four. Yeah, they know when not to approach. Somebody's got to grab that ledge. That was a great stage spike. Great stage spike from Red Team. And uh, now we're 2-2, two and two, moving on to game number 5. Always the best when these sets get drawn out to the very last game. These teams are uh, taking a sip of their water, re replenishing their sweat supplies. Uh, right now the ref is handing Ice Arrow his sweat rag. They're really thinking about the stage this time, it looks like. Oh. What are they going to pick? There's a lot of legal stages for uh, doubles counterpicks, but Town and City is a little bit different here. There's some sinister stuff that can happen when somebody gets stuck on one of those platforms and they don't want to be. Oh, Ice Arrow gets a triple up air right off the bat. And. <laughs> He didn't quite take it back, but it's good enough for him. Oh, and that is the first stock. It's a uh, Chris Ford. Is Mario going to go back to his uh, old days role of just playing safe off the stage? Maybe, maybe not. But he has the option to now. Oh, Chris is going to set him way up in the air. Doesn't quite make it back to the stage safely. Ah, uh, there. He's made it. All right. <laughs> he forward smashes his own teammate. And then Icera finishes off what he started. Great play from Icera. And he just goes right back to wailing on him. Beautiful. Icera has a vendetta. 
I think he was a little bit offended at uh, that earlier little laugh that he got. Oh, Red Team finally loses his stock. Blue Team has a lot of ground to cover. Stage Spike, Ice Arrow doesn't care. He doesn't care. Oh, that was a bold move, but he's safe. I guess he figures uh, when you're on your first stock and at a high percent, that's the time to pull out the fancy stuff. But finally, he gets thrown by Mario. So, alright, they still got two stocks for each. And Chris Ford is holding on to the life right now. Doesn't stop him going from those combos. Uh, still holding on with that good DI, but that's not going to work another time. Nice up air off the player four. No, there you go, Chris uh, No share stock for him. Mario's on his own. Could this be a victory for Red Team? <laughs> oh, they're just throwing him back and forth. No longer monkey in the middle. It's human in the middle now. Reversing stereotypes since 1990, whatever year that Diddy Kong came out. Well, that is the victory for the set to Ice Arrow, and they are going to move on to. I think the uh, 